Hey guys, and welcome to Slash Rex Games. Now that Game Maker Studio Standard is absolutely free with no limitations whatsoever, I highly recommend anyone using Game Maker 8.1 or below to uh, just upgrade to it. So just head over to the website, I'll put a little link in the description and it'll pop up on this video. Um, get Studio Standard. And now, in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to import your Game Maker 8 and below projects right into Studio Standard um, with as little problem as possible. So, here on the screen right now, we have my health bars and heat bars tutorial, which was a Game Maker 8 file, see it's a GMK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import this right into Studio, and we're going to see what happens. So, here we go. Um, we've got the tabs here at the top, open, new import. So, we go to import, we locate the folder with that Game Maker 8 file, so it's health bars. Over there, notice it shows nothing, right? So what we're gonna first gonna do is we're gonna go filter over here from uh, GMZ over there, change that to GM6, GMK, GM8 over there. Um, also, you've got all these other little options here, depending on what the um, file type is. So here we go, GM6, it's a GMK from uh, GameMaker 8. Click that. Also, um, choose the directory where, where you want to output the studio file and uh, the new name. So studio, just like that. And it's as simple as clicking import. You will get this big warning message saying that you're importing from an old version to a new version. And there's a whole lot of um, things that have changed, so you have to be aware of that. So, um, yeah, so click OK. And I'll go into see it's created the Studio GMX folder. And there, just like that, we have it in Studio. Now, there have been an enormous amount of functions that have been removed and added and whatnot. So if you go over to... Oh wow, this is a crazy long address. I'll put that in the description too. You can find some um, of the obsolete functions. Because if you have been using GameMaker 8 and below for quite a long time, chances are you're using one of these functions that has now been removed. So if you try to compile your, your game now in GameMaker Studio, it'll come up with a whole lot of errors. You have to just bear with them and fix them one by one until um, it is compatible. And just like that, you'll have your GameMaker 8 or Blow project in Studio and you'll have all the cross-platform support you could have ever wanted and more. So that's really great. So I do recommend you go check out um, this obsolete functions page and all these different things. I mean if you're using the mplay functions for some strange reason um, you gotta know that those are no longer available. Also sound functions changed no transitions anymore really because of the way things are drawn to the screen um, yeah a lot of things and each one of these things explains exactly which functions have changed and why. See why these obsolete? It's really great. It tells you exactly what you need to know. Help you learn about the, the new way GameMaker Studio uh, runs. Um, so that's pretty much as simple as uh, importing your GameMaker 8 or below project run right to Studio. All you got to worry about really is fixing all the obsolete functions. But you will be well on your way to um, creating your game uh, for all kinds of targets right over here. This is really, really awesome. So that was a very quick and easy tutorial on uh, importing into GameMaker Studio. I hope you found this educational and helpful. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe, like my Facebook page, and I will catch you guys next time for another tutorial. Cheers for now.